Hello everybody, and welcome back to Aurora Plays Baldur's Gate 3, early access of course. Um, the uh, 8, uh, patch 8 has just dropped uh, in the last uh, couple of weeks or so, allowing us to finally play as a bard. So Aurora can now at last be a bard. You can also play as gnomes, but pff, whatever, don't really give a crap about that. The fact of the matter is that we can now play Aurora as a bard. Now, I know we've already gone through this quite a few times, so what I'm thinking I'm going to do for this one here, we'll make this one a bit shorter than, than usual, but, but I'll go through and basically I'll record what, I'm gonna, what I would do normally, but where... Um, special specific bard interactions that I think are kind of interesting like I imagine there's going to be ones because I know there's a couple of bards in the game that you meet up with you can meet up with Volo you can also meet up with the tiefling bard in the uh, the druid grove so I imagine meeting up with those particular characters will be um fairly unique um as a bard class at least I'm hoping they will be so um yeah we're just gonna play through it and then if there's like any really interesting specific uh bard interactions i will just sort of cut them all together so uh the uh the proper bard experience i guess because i, I imagine the gameplay itself is not going to be all that uh all that different but anyway let's find out so uh so first things first we're going to Let's do a new game. We're going to see what the new character build is like anyway. We can skip all this. I said skip, damn you. Uh, of course, as a class, he is bard. Ugh. Well, they've certainly made... Ah! No, loot, we want the flute. There we go. And of course, you get the rapier. I'm not... I don't know. I don't know whether I'm a fan of the outfit. I wish there was actually... Is, is there a way to actually customize the colors, or...? No. All right. Uh... Yep, all right. Cool. That seems fair enough. Skills... Let's take out Intimidation and do... Sleight of Hand. Tell me, who do you dream of at night? Alright. So, we now have Bardic Inspiration, as we would do normally. We've got all our regular spells. We can also just play. <laughs> we can just play a jaunty tune if we if we feel the need in our our crashed nautiloid. Uh, well, I guess really the only two major interactions in this area here, the first one being the the mind, uh, the intellect devourer that we can pick up, and the other one being when we meet up with Lazel. So let's just do those and see if there are any. Yes, 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 I'm coming. Also, like they've they've overhauled the graphics on this as well. It looks a lot. Uh, you sound afraid. Why? All right. So who am I talking to, man or brain? Talking to an intellect devourer, a minion of 
the mind flayers who abducted you. Ooh, angry. Uh, Alright, tell me what to do. Uh, gently prise it from the skull. Hey. The brain lifts from the skull. But you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient, should it prove a threat. Yeah, sure. Creature. I think you mean the the brain with legs. They are free. Our freedom is ours, friend. The creature pauses, listening. Something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. We must go to the helm. At the helm, we are needed. All right. What should I call you? Let's go. To the Interesting. Gives you an opportunity to attack the red dragon that's there. Ah, there she is. Abomination. This is your end. Well, hello there. Imps? Are we in the hells? <laughs> Looks nothing like the poems ascribe. Onward then. So if I... So Lazelle Le is now inspired. Let's see how well she can kill this thing now. Ring combat. Oh no. Oh no, that's fine. Well, let me inspire Lazel again. I get my hand crossbow out. Damn, Aurora. Oh, 
what have we got here? Bardic attack. Add the d6 to your next attack roll. Bardic roll. Okay, so you can toggle how it actually works, and you've got bardic defense. So, Alright, so you can actually trigger these depending on what you actually want to use your bardic inspiration for. That's pretty cool. Alright, awesome. Sleep! Ooh, you can actually use your uh, your instrument for the, the spell casting, which is what all good bards should do. That's awesome. You prove surprisingly adequate in battle. Now, to the helm. All right, awesome. All right, so I've just skipped us ahead now. We're now back in the, uh, or now at the the Druid Grove. We've just uh, fended off the Goblin attack. Well met. Is there uh, anything you need? Um, some bits and bobs I no longer need. The game itself plays pretty much exactly the same as as it has before, as uh, a bard or anyone else. The only real difference is you've got um, some slight variation in. Uh, conversation with well, when you meet up with Gale because Gale actually does some uh, what's the word I'm looking for he does some poetry of his own and so uh, he'll have a, have a Sylvanas, guide your path. you can there's like a little bard underline option there but the main thing I'm curious about because um, again I know Volo's here and I know um Aranus or something like I can't remember her name. The the, tief, the tiefling bard is here, but I'm also actually curious about whether or not we can actually use our um, our bard chatting to Let my daughter go right now. to resolve this problem. She's a thief, hell spawn, and you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back. Oh. Let me through, Radrashev, or I'll rip your damn throat out! Ooh. Angry bear. Excuse me all. Damn it. He Come, Magrin, give him a chance. You, get back! Uh. Well, if it weren't for me, you'd be overrun by goblins by now. I'll go where I please. No, 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 no. Why? What's so special down here? It's forbidden to outsiders. Corga's orders. Oh, fair, fair enough. Well, I'm not looking for trouble. Can't you just let me by? No, oh. and you'll find trouble all the same unless you get out of my sight. Oh. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You. Apparently, Corga wants to see you. Go ahead. All right. I'm sorry. Ha <laughs> ha! What's going on in here? Oh, it's a schnick little snag. Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Corga. She's just a a what? Wrath. A thief. A poison. A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Um... Uh, one of your guards outside said you wanted to see me. So here I am. We will speak soon enough. First, judgment must be passed. Oh. The parasite eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely. Do it. Uh, oh, here we go. Bard um, persuasion. Sylvanus was more concerned with uh, nobly sown seeds and punishing children, was he not?
<laughs> the words of the tree father spoken plain. It is as you say. Sivisif, Tila to me. Out, thief. My grace has its limits. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin. Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. I think they certainly upgraded the um, the snake animation. Go on, say it. You think I'm a monster? Uh... <laughs> well, you're protecting your own. Sometimes cruelty is required. First, you urge grace, then you speak truth. You surprised me twice over. A shame the grace period ends. The viper's fangs have been bared. She must guard her brood. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. Alrighty then. Uh... Zevlor believes his people will perish on the road. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Sevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. All right then. Seems I best speak to Zeblor. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. By letting that child escape without consequence. That woman has more venom in her heart than a snake in its fangs. But at least the child is safe. What is youth, if not a time to be forgiven for one's transgressions? Um, sounds like you have something to confess there. <laughs> that stupid smile. Ha! And you don't. You're wholly without vice or sin, or the occasional lapse in judgment. Frequently. No. You don't strike me as quite that boring. How can I be boring? Look at my outfit, it's crazy. Alright, let's go outside and have a chat with Volo. Um, oh, actually, another thing we can do while we're here as well. I'm actually curious to see how, as a bard, you would react to the uh, the harpy song. Because you might actually be able to counter song it. I'm actually curious to see whether it actually functions. Hello, Volo. the gates just now no when the goblins came you saw them up close a few questions if you please there's no overstating my interest of course not sir ask your questions glory now then how would you describe that particular batch of goblins size nature distinguishing qualities you search your mind Successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. Um, a classic raid gang, complete with lasher and a smattering of bouillards. My, a scholar after my own heart. Spent much time among goblins? Uh, the time was spent among books. I'm a student of the page. More than I am a student of, well, more of a student of the sword as well. I've always preferred experience to the second-hand accounts of lesser men, but to each their own. Now, I've a few more questions, if you don't mind. Of course. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? Dragons, really? How gauche. <laughs> ah. Either it was a gold dragon, scales glittering and wings gleaming. A gold dragon? How marvelous. 
Thank heaven you were here to specify, or I might have recorded a bold faced lie. Last <laughs> question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? Uh, oh, quite so. They sung the phrase like a battle hymn. They did, didn't they? Oh, oh curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one. A captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! Oh, how shocking. A dramatic. And how has Maglaviet responded? Oh, I imagine him quite displeased. Since their change in allegiance, these goblins are informed by a kind of strategy anathema to their kind. I, for one, intend to get to the bottom of it. I'm just preparing to head to their camp as we speak, in fact. If you'll excuse me, I ought not to dawdle. Oh, well. Uh, wait, about the conversation earlier, why the dragon? My friend, every story benefits from a dragon. <laughs> Until we meet again. <sighs> oh, there you go. Excellent. Tell me about this place. Moon, sun, oh, remind me. No, that doesn't work. Damn it. I'm going to turn this up. Because I think... Oh, no, hang on. I want to check. It is, I believe... Master volume, music volume. Hello there. Oh, Alfira, that's her name. Dance upon the stars tonight Smile when pain will fade away Words of mine will change No Become <sighs> Ooh Words of mine will turn to ash Light down. Oh, can you sing your singing? Moon reminds me of your grace. Moon reminds me of your grace. All the love I can't repay. Rest and know that I will pray. Farewell. My dear old friend. I love how she's got little bubbles Wait, for her instrument. Turn to ash when you call 
Bravo. Thank you. I was having trouble finding the words. Well, finding the words is an important part of being a singer, you know. Sorry. Damn it. No. It's all right. Let it out. I don't usually. I'm all right. I haven't finished a song since Lihala died. I haven't played at all, if I'm honest. She was playing her lute. We didn't hear the gnolls coming. There was so much blood. I, I can still smell it. Hmm. Well, you've come up with a fine tribute for her. Thanks. Lehala made me love music. The sound, the feel, the thrill. But when she died, it was gone. Until now, I'd forgotten what it was like. That itch in my fingers to perfect a song. <laughs> the Weeping Dawn will be my gift to her. Thank you. I... I needed this. That's awesome. Smile and pain will fade away. Alright, let's go check out these harpies. Is someone singing? You there, boy. Get away from the beach. It's dangerous down there. Shh. Listen. Nah, I shall listen. A sweet melody beckons you. It vibrates with magic. A harpy's charm. Oh, here we go. Focus by singing. There once was a lady who met with a marrow and tries to disclose a foolish fellow. Oh wow, I can't fail it. I've got such high performance. A suffocating yearning suddenly fades as the spell breaks. You are free. Her man would not listen. Uh, he thought it told tales until he rubbed up against all of her scales. I really don't know the tune for this one. <laughs> um, ooh. Fuck yeah. I think I'll have 17. Okay, so there is a counter charm function. That's awesome. Now I need to move. There we go. That's better. So where are our, our harpies? Ah, good thing I have the sleep spell because I can then put this guy to sleep. Uh, I'm gonna get Lazel because one usually runs up there. So if I get Lazel to come up here, she can deal with the harpy once it gets up there. I have done my bit there. I will inspire.
Stop getting lured, Gale! Oh, there's a hoppy over there. Ah. Alright, so... If we move to there... Dash... To here... Fucking boom. <laughs> nice work, Lazel. Night or night, bitches. Good. And I'll break concentration on that. Cool. And the shell inspire. Lazel. And Lazel can chop the shit out of this thing. And then Gale. Art. Nice work, everybody. Hey, boy. Are they gone? Why are you squatting in the water? But yes, they're gone. Take a deep breath, deep and slow. You're safe now. Oh, hang on. Heck, here we got nothing. Come there. You're a hero. You survived a harpy's willy lullaby, my friend. Be proud. She'll be so mad. I didn't get the gold from the nest. I got to go. Okay. Wait, um, you should meet Mole. She'll be grateful you helped me. Find a boy called Donny. Tell him you want to see the dragon's lair. Okay. All right, that's awesome. That scamp reminds me of myself when I was a nipper. Always getting into trouble. Uh, I met a lot of harpies, did you? And worse. Ooh. One time, my parents denied me a kitten. <gasps> so I summoned myself a tressim. Uh-oh. Oh, dear old Tara. Beautiful creature. Benefits of a wizard's education, you see. Of course, my considerable talent didn't hurt either. Hmm. Well, that depends on who you ask, I suppose. I may have summoned things rather more exotic than a winged cat. Such as? There was that magma method once. Nice fellow, you kept in touch. <laughs> of course, in walked the housekeeper, screaming, yelling, panic, and before you know it, fire everywhere. Anyway, I'm glad we got that boy out of his predicament. Poor lad would have been harpy feed if it wasn't for you. <laughs> All right, awesome. Um. So I think that's really all there is to do, at least in in terms of the new stuff. Most I'll be keeping an eye on you. Understand? If I choose to kill you, you will not even see it. All right. So, and as far as I can tell, that's really the only real bardic additional new bardic uh, interactions. 
Like, you've still got Auntie Ethel and the other people around there, but there's no real, like, bard-specific interactions from... ...the other bits and pieces. Other, other bits and pieces, other peoples. So, uh... Yep, there's Arabella. She's safe and sound. Alright. Um... Well, I think what I'll do now, actually, I'll, I might leave this. This is a quick update session, but I'm absolutely loving what they've done with uh, the game at the moment, with the ability, just to, just the fact that you can actually play a bard, a proper bard, with the inspiration and everything. I'm a little bit disappointed you can't play uh, College of Swords. I've only got the two, the, uh, the College of Law and the College of Valor. I've chosen College of Valor for uh, Aurora because it's the closest to a combat bard that uh, I could find. But, um, yeah. I think uh, next time we'll explore the... Uh, we'll go to the Goblin Camp and explore there because we've also got Volo there. So I'm sure there'll be another set of interactions there as well as... Um, we might meet up with Auntie Ethel and see if there's any any new bits and pieces there, but if not, we'll just skip all that. So anyway, for now, that's where we're going to leave it. So thank you all very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. I have been your humble bard, Tim, and be sure to come back for the next session of Aurora Plays Baldur's Gate 3.